Hello and welcome to Southern RPG. Today is a massive day, the 1.0 release of Satisfactory. I haven't played this game for years and it's been a lot of updates. So there's going to be a lot of new things that I'm going to be able to check out. And we're going to be able to check out to see if it's actually a game that you want to be able to play. We're going to jump straight in because I don't want to take up too much time with the introductions. Uh, we have different areas. What do I love the most? Forests. I have to say I love forests more than anything. Uh, I'm not a big fan of deserts. Is it? I, I'm not even sure if like some of these maps are like... I think we're going to go for the forest, man. I do love the forest. Enter session name. Uh, enable to skip onboarding process and start the game at tier 1. We're going we're gonna to start with the onboarding process. We're going to see what the intro is, see if it's got any changes to it. And we're going to confirm and jump straight in. I am really, really looking forward to actually jumping into this. It's been a while. Some of the guys in the Discord actually spoke about this and wanted me to jump on uh, to check it out. But we are going to... Oh, shit. What happened there? I need to change the sensitivity Separation of the mouse for sure. From main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Ooh. Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. Such a good name. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. What Fix was it. that? Short term solutions to long term problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Don't deploy the parachute while we're on fire. Yeah. Skipping parachute. Skipping parachute. <laughs> Activating retro propulsion. I actually really like that. That was kind of funny. Well, we, as we're always, we're going to do the first two hours of the game. We're going to jump into the first two hours of the game, get as much as we can done in the first two hours. Touchdown. It's going to be building. Planet it's going to be resource complete. gathering. It's going to be management. Integrity nominal. We're going to be getting through the entirety of these two hours. And if you want to see more of this video, more of these content, make sure to show me down in the comments that you want to see a series on Satisfactory, see how far we can get with it. Let's see how we do with the first two hours. It looks pretty damn beautiful. I remember when this game looked like... Uh, it, it, it had its moments. The graphics weren't that great. There the must have been graphics updates or something. Welcome to Masai First thing we do, AB, any survival AB, game, pick up all the leaves. Right, there's going to be a lot of talking from this AI because that's going to... Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. Okay, let's begin onboarding. What do we have to do? I just picked up First loads of leaves. safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Uh, okay. How do we do that? Press tab in the inventory. Equipment shortcuts. Okay. Uh, okay. Shift left. There we go. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Figuring out the Next basics. Dismantle, Dismantle the, the drop, drop pod. Fixit incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Let's go into dismantle mode, pressing F, and we'll dismantle that right up. Lovely. Next objective. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional Hold iron v to, to, to bring up. the hub. Okay. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Oh, we got some iron sources over that way, but it doesn't look like there's any iron in our vicinity right now. That's a... Whoa, okay. <laughs> like, there's a pretty plant. Can we kill this? 
I'm not sure if I want to try and kill it, to be honest. Maybe we'll wait until we get a zap gun. Did you... S okay, it's a gas vent. I literally thought I saw some sort of predator-type creature there. Mushrooms. Always. Bacon. Bacon mushrooms. Potential I edible need collected. those in real life. that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like Let's you can eat it scan. does not mean it won't eat you. Store it is in this direction. Okay, so we got 230 meters this way is the closest one we got. I'm definitely picking up some more of these bacon mushrooms for sure. Oh god, oh my, I was looking at... What's that? Can we fight this thing? And, oh my god, I just fell off. We're in trouble. Can I be... Can I? Can you be my friend? Or not? His back just fell off. I want Samples that as a of pet. New alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the That's remains cool. for later study. Uh, press E to start mining copper. Can we? Mi oh, we can mine more and more and more. Okay. I don't know if we should be mining copper, but I'm gonna grab it along the way because I do like to grab everything that we can find. Okay, that's a lot. Can we put a mark on the map? Is there a way we can put a mark on the map? Or... Press V to quickly scan again. Okay. What is... <laughs> Look at that thing's tiny ass head. Oh, man. I do love games like this. And Satisfactory's always been such a really well done game. We've got 70 meters away. We can get to the iron ore. And we can move on to the next part of this beginning tutorial. It's been so long that I did want to actually get through the tutorial itself to try and do that. So if you guys, maybe I'll put uh, kind of like some next things objective. down in the description, timestamps down there. To construct the hub. We're going to construct the hub. Component necessary for all near future progress. So ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Doesn't pay by the kilometer. So how close do we have iron in the directions around us? 46, 6, 106. We've got a lot of this. We'll build out here in this flat area. This looks like a pretty decent area to build. Let's open the build menu and we'll build a hub. Or do I have to stand on there? I'm going to do it. Can I spin it around? Yes, I can. Let's have it this way. Start constructing the hub. It's, hub foundation let's built. get out of that. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. Okay, next objective, hub upgrades can be found by activating the hub terminal. Okay, I wanted to clear out some of that grass because I don't like it sticking through. Can we click? Can we pick you up? Can, don't do that to me. I don't like things coming through the floor. Let's see what we need to upgrade this to tier one. Please select a milestone. C can be found in the activate and activated in the hub terminal. Terminal? Terminal. Select milestone. Active milestone. Okay. There's no milestone selected because I can't do it. Tier locked. Hub upgrade one. I was just not pressing the right one. I'm having a moment of insanity. Plus one hand equipment stop. Portable miner. I have to kind of equipment workshop. That's what we get out of it. Lovely. So we need to make some uh, iron bars. Do we craft that in here? Iron rods. Okay, so we need to make iron ingots first. So let's craft up a load of these. Is it going to let us do it? Uh, okay. Is that crafting or not? Times three output. I can't really see if it's actually crafting anything. Let's just go grab some more iron while we're here. Maybe it's going to take a couple of seconds. I don't really remember how it works fully. Press E to start mining more. Maybe I have to put the iron inside of the box. I just have to figure it out. Go remember how this is done. Unauthorized hostility towards what? I don't like that little tiny headed creature over there. It's kind of weird looking, man. Um, do I have to put something in there? Is it crafting? Relevant materials, iron ore. Do I have to put it somewhere? Is 
Select craft. Hold left melt button to craft. Okay. <laughs> I should have just had a look. People are probably screaming at me going, what the hell are you doing, man? Let's just craft up as many as we need. I don't know how many iron rods it was needed. We need 10, so that should be enough right now. That holding down is going to be quite the difficult one to actually run around and do, but it's going to get automated eventually. Let's stick the iron rods in there. Uh, are you going to go in there? Yeah, you're going to go in there, and we're going to hold down the upgrade hub button. And we have upgraded to the next part of the hub. Hub upgrade but it's one. Complete. Storage and frame completed. Equipment Storage. like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix-it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 2. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 2. What do we need? We're going to get some decent stuff out of here. We need some steel plates. I'm going to try... I think we got the build menu here. Uh, we... Equipment workshop. Crafting bench. What was it that we needed to craft? We need iron plates and iron... Mm -mm -mm. Can we not craft it straight from the inventory? Let's go in here and grab up this. We do need those bars. Uh, we do need some more iron. Let's craft up the plates. We'll make some iron ingots first. Lovely, we'll craft off a load of those. We need... Why isn't it checked up on here? We need to do that. Select milestone. There we go. So 10 steel plates and 20 steel tubes. So we only need 6 of the tubes. Iron tubes, steel tubes. Iron tubes. We only need 6. So let's make 6 of those so we don't waste any parts. And then we need 10 iron plates. Gonna get that crafted up. I wish there was a way space spacecraft. Okay, let's rather than clicking, just use space. I need to start looking at this stuff. I need to start taking my time and doing this properly. Let's craft these bad boys up. Six, eight, ten. Okay, sweet as. Now let's upgrade. Uh, we need more of those bars. I don't know why I thought it was ten, twenty. Let's craft some more rods. One times. We need to craft more of these. There we go, and trim them. Hold down the space bar. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. We should make an automatic miner in the iron. I think that's going to be a good idea. Let's upgrade the hub. Oh, we got an... Oh, hub okay. Hub upgrade 2, power and shell completed. Lovely. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 3. We need to start crafting some stuff. So I need to make a crafting bench. Let's put this inside. Can we put it inside? Uh, scroll up and down. Or do we have to place it on the floor outside? We need some tubes and we need equipment place so that can be out here somewhere. We have to craft those up. We need to go get some more iron over here. I need to find out how to do the, uh, to make the, we'll craft some more iron, craft some more iron, gather some more iron, get as much of this as we can because we're running low on it. And then hopefully we'll be able to start crafting up the... What's that? Oh, because we're running out of uh, durability, it looks like, on this thing here. Right, let's craft up the equipment hub. It's telling us not to do it. Right now, it's telling us to do... What's the upgrade for the three? Let's set a milestone. And we need to make copper wire. And how are we making a copper wire? I could just do this on both sides. Cable. We need wire. Which requires... And copper ingots. Luckily, we picked up a lot of copper. We picked up a lot of copper. I'm sure we did. Where is it? There we go. Lucky I did pick up that copper. Let's craft a lot of copper ingots. Get these guys all cleaned up. I don't think we get... We might as well just, like, make all of the ingots out of all of this stuff. Get a decent amount out of it, actually. I think that'll be enough for now. And then we'll craft up some iron ingots so we can make... We have to make that wire. So we need 20 wire. Let's make 20 wire real quick. 
And then we can make some of the iron plates and iron rods. We need a lot of them, so I'm going to have to do all of that. Do we have enough now? We have enough. We have enough. We have enough. We don't need to make any more ingots. Didn't click the right thing, but we made a load of wire at least. Let's make up all these iron ingots to get a load of iron rods and iron plates. We need 20 of each. So we'll get the iron plates out of the way first. We're going to have to get a load more iron to be fair. Uh, 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 20 iron plates. Let's do... I wish we could like... Uh, right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's enough of you. I don't think we can... I don't think we're going to have enough to make the 20. We'll have to go get some more iron. Let's have a quick look. I need to figure out... Because I'm pretty sure we unlocked the automatic mine. I'm pretty sure we unlocked that. So can I... Production. Here we go. Smelter. Power line. That's just special. What happened? That's a smelter. Okay. We need to make some power. But for now... I couldn't see... There was definitely nothing in there that showed that we could make... Maybe it's going to be in the equipment workshop. I wish you could kind of see... It probably is somewhere. Probably just losing my mind. Let's just mine up all this iron ore. Get as much as we can. To get all of this sorted. Oh, okay. If we're not pointing at it, it takes away. I want to have a look at the... Uh, area around it dismantling mode hold me to bring up resource scanner <clears throat> connect to a power source with a power line the biomass burner located in a hub generator power by consuming biomass such as wooden leaves okay so we need to go into the biomass burner i think we've got enough iron ore for the moment let's go and stick down the biomass burner what's that on number two there is that a biomass burner that's a power line uh let's go where's the biomass burner we have one inside, no? Or not? Do we have one? It's here. Let's go in here. We need to get the leaves. We can just grab a load. I did grab a load earlier. Just clear out this area a little bit. And then we can make some space to build on. There's all the leaves in the world. Give me all those leaves. Probably giving people like vertigo from spinning around so much, to be honest. Right. Biomass burner on the back over here. Let's go in. Fuel. Fuel's in there, and one leaf is 80 per minute. Oh, okay. It's on standby. We'll leave it on standby for now. Because we do need to make the smelter. Can we not put a sm Okay. We need to put the smelter outside. We need to make more copper wire. Don't want to get that kind of stuff ready for the next one. Let's make all these iron ingots up. And then we'll do the plates. We've got 20 plates. We just need to make some more iron bar, iron rods. Should I do the upgrade first before we do that? I'm just gonna follow the. I'm just gonna follow the thing. Auto saving starts in seven seconds. Okay, so we have all of those. So let's upgrade this and then see if it gets us to the next point. There's 20 in there. We'll put 20 of there and we'll put a load of those and upgrade the hub. What happens now? How big is it? Hub upgrade three. Interior furnishing completed. Ooh, okay. The constructor can produce simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make oh, the inevitable hello. mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction okay. in line with our zero waste policy. Character customization. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next to Build objective, gun. complete hub upgrade four. Where's the purple? We'll go for the purple and the orange. Trinket. Trinket hangs off the bottom. What do we have there? We've got to fix it. I'm going to do some waste over here. Primary color. Let's go over here. We want a bit of a purple. Which is going to be... That's a bit... We're going to get it to be that color. And then the secondary color is going to be a brighter purple. So let's go to the same color over here. And then the overall color. Just the, for the channel colors, you know? Can we get it a bit darker? Let's get it a bit darker over here. And let's jump out. And now we're all purple and stuff. Just like the channel colors. Theming it out already. 
I do like when there's a little bit of character customization like that, and it's not too like in your face. Production mode is not constructible, only function when connected to a power source. Power poles, uh, complete upgrade four. What do we need for the upgrade four? Upgrade hub four. We need plates, we need wire, cable, sorry, and we need some, I guess that's brick dust. It looks like bricks. We'll select the milestone. And then we'll start to build up. We need to get more iron, man. We need more iron. What do we need to craft up the... Right, there's a the constructor. We need reinforced iron plates and cables. The smelter, we're going to need a smelter for sure. Let's put it towards the back over here. Because we're going to need to connect it to the power. Uh, use configure smelter. I think it's, so we just put the ore in there and it's going to make it and make it automatically. Uh, have we got iron? We do. Iron ore. Go in there. No power. Let's connect to power cables. Missing. We need cables. We need cables. I love my little box to stick. Oh, what was that? Power pole. We need to do the more crafting stuff. Uh, I need to make some cable. Let's go and craft some cable up. Uh, cable. Let's make up a couple of bits of cable. There we go. Concrete. It was like dust. Concrete. What, is, what does concrete need to make? Limestone. We need to find limestone. I need limestone. How far are we close? How far away is the nearest limestone? We've got 152, 105, 159, 99. We'll go that way. We can grab that copper along the way as well. Hello, limestone node. We'll pick up some more leaves because we do need more of that for the biomass, actually. And let's go and grab this dude here. Start mining using a chisel. And we'll stick a mine on top of this, as some, uh, uh, the uh, extractor at some point. Getting a decent amount of limestone. Once it starts getting all automated, it actually becomes a lot easier. You can get everything to like go through and all you need to do is, uh, you don't even need to pull stuff in anymore at a certain point. Right, we grabbed enough of that. Where did we put that um, hostility towards me? Where? I don't know why that keeps popping up. Bacon shrooms. Bacon flavored shrooms on the island. Lovely jubbly. Let's make some concrete. With the limestone, concrete, we can make 23. We won't add, we won't build anything. So what I usually do when I'm building in games, I'll build loads of everything, but we're going to try to do it in a way that we can actually, um, oh, we need to make some copper ingots. Mm, you know what? Let's put the power cable down. Uh, where's the power cable going to, where's the cable going to come from? Power pole. We need some copper wire. Okay, I'm up. We forgot the copper wire. Let's craft those four copper wires. But it's down. It's been so long since I played this that it's kind of like, uh, let's stick this power pole here. Okay. Wire. Power line. No. We wanted the power line. How do we do the power line? Structure power line. Current building. Power line. To where? Here? Power line. Okay. Power line. From here to here. <laughs> Are you going to work? Ah, okay. We'll just use that for now. We've got the iron ore in there. I wish there was a way to put boxes on this. We might find out later on. We're using a lot of leaves. We got some logs there. That should last us a decent amount of time while it's making all the copper ingots. Iron ingots, should I say. Should we build another one for the copper? Can we build another one? We need to make some iron poles. Is it coming out the other end? We'll take some of that. Thank you very much. And we'll make some uh, iron rods. We only need a couple of these. And we'll craft up another one to use for the copper as well. Going to Q, going to smelter. Ah, we need seven more copper wire. Copper ingots. We only need seven. There we go. Let's craft up the seven of those. See how much power this guy uses. We'll make the secondary smelter right there. And then, can we connect the power from you to this one? No. 
No. Let's connect it to you. Can we connect to you? And then you can connect to this one? Okay, let's disconnect. How do we disconnect? No empty power line connections. How do we disconnect? Hmm. Maybe deconstruction mode? Let's get rid of that. Okay, we just need that. Okay, sweet. Deconstruction mode got that going. Let's put you over to this. And then we can put you to this as well. Yep, so we can have all of it connected all at the same time. Lovely. That's all we needed. You are going to make copper ingots, my fine sir. And we are going to go and see if we can find... We don't need limestone. What we need is copper ore and iron ore. And we had a pretty close one over here. 100 meters away, just up on that cliff edge over there. We'll go grab that. And then we're going to make the equipment building. So then hopefully that's going to be where we can get our mining drills from. So we're not just collecting copper the entire time. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying the content, let me know down below in the comments and check up a like if you do enjoy my survival game content. This is not completely survival game, but I do love building. And you'll, you'll see what you can do in this game eventually. There's some mad people out there that do some, some insane building. I saw one actually, Nick showed me earlier, uh, one of the guys on uh, one of the guys in the discord showed me an insane one that was built something feels like it's walking around near me to be honest let's go it's getting night time what's that hail berries what do we Potential get from the pill? edible collected if consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by fix it the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences okay why not? store this potential resource for later use Right, copper. How much do we have over here? We've got 34 iron ingots. Let's go grab some more of that iron real quick. And head it over there. Come on. Faster. Faster. That was a really weird uh, sound in the background. Try and grab as much of this as we can. We do need to build this constructor. Component part via conveyor belt. Where's the conveyor belts? We don't have any conveyor belts yet, correct? Let's go to crafting bench. We have a crafting bench already, I'm fairly certain. So we're going to need to build this equipment workshop. Which we need is iron plates. So we'll grab a, just a bit more of this iron ore. Get to about 60. And then we can continue on to the next part. And boom. We'll just grab 60. That is a cool sound. I love the alien sounds in the background. Right, let's grab this iron ore. And we can grab this copper ingots. Sorry, ingots. Okay, sweet as. So what do we need to make this equipment workshop? We can spin you around. It has to be... Like, I have to do, like, is there a way to do a top-down view? Hmm. Quick search. Lovely. All right, B is a flashlight. Don't need that right now. H is in the hand. V, F, Q, tab is your inventory. What do we have over here? We're going to stick, we're going to stick that load of that in there. We'll carry 500 with us when we're carrying it over. We have wood. We'll just keep collecting that. Right. So, for the equipment workshop, we need iron plates. Craft up some iron plates. Iron plate, there we go. Get this going. The equipment workshop, because I'll hopefully want to be able to get a mine down. Let's try and get this mine down. Okay, uh, equipment workshop. Let's turn you around so you're facing in a good direction. What do we stick you over here? I wish... Can you not connect these? Okay, so it has to be a little bit separate. I have to keep it. There we go. We'll put you here for now. Until we get more of a building thing going on. And see if we can build it. Portable miner. Let's craft two of those bad boys. One. And two. Portable miner. Let's go over here. Pop it down on the iron. And we'll pop one down on the... Um, where are you? Portable miner. 
Uh, do we do it? Shift, left mouse button. Click, 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 click. Okay, let's go up. Put this down here. And you can start mining. We'll go over to the copper mine. And hopefully that'll start grabbing us our ing or ingots. Grabbing us our ingots at a better rate. And we need, probably need to craft another one for the limestone as well. Let's chuck that on there. Portable miner. To open portable miner. Lovely. Look at that. It is actually amazing. Like it is actually amazing. Lovely. It's producing. The other one's producing. We've got our iron and stuff going. And we've got our two things over there. I need to fill up with the power. Grab some more leaves while we're here. We need to get a better fuel source for sure. What's that on the floor there? Just a rock. We need to make... Um, when do we get our conveyor belts is the question. We have still got loads of leaves in there. Just fill that up. It's going to last... Okay. Good few minutes still. What else can we craft in here? What was Zeno Zappa? Hmm. Nice little stun gun. I want to make another portable one so we can go put it on the lime over there. So we need four iron rods. Let's craft four iron rods real quick. One, two, three, four. Probably wasn't even counting correctly. Let's craft this for portable miner. And go and find the lime. Did I pick it up? I didn't pick it up, did I? I did pick it up. Okay, portable miner. Let's go get limestone, which should be just over here. Only a couple of meters away, sprinting wise. We don't have stamina issues. Let's see. Can we put you down here, sir? Let's put you on there. We'll put this here. Can we place you here? Place. There we go. Portable miner. They are cool looking as hell, man. Probably one of the only sci-fi games I really do left to enjoy. What are you? What are you? What are you? Can we get pets in this game? I saw someone had a pet in it. Right, let's grab all. And it's going to grab a load more. And we can go stick that straight over here in our iron one. Which is going to be this one over here. Let's put that inside. We'll go grab our copper. There's a lot of running backwards and forwards at the beginning. Eventually, you can get like everything sorted out. You can get big mining things on these guys, and you can get uh, you can get it all set up and automated. We'll eventually, hopefully, get to somewhere in that point. Let's pick that up, and then we'll go grab this guy over here real quick to make some more stuff because we can make a constructor here soon. But I want to make conveyor belts. But we do need power poles. Production builders like constructor will only function when it connects to a power source. Okay, upgrade four. Let's grab all of that and then head back over here and get our copper ingots and stuff made up because we do need to make the individual parts for a good while until we get the constructor built up. Let's go in here. We'll put you in there. You can make me more copper ingots. Right. So, four. We already have a crafting bench. Constructor. We need... What's that? Nails, screws, and we need to make reinforced iron plates to make the constructor. Is this just the crafting bench? We need to make it in the crafting reinforced iron plate. What do we need for that? Screws. So we'll have to make some screws. Let's go and grab the iron ingots. We have a load here. We can just make a load of stuff. Uh, we need to make screws. And screws require iron rods. Let's make some iron rods up. And then we can do, we can start to do the, uh, the milestone upgrade up four, but I want to get to us to be able to craft this without doing this in our inventory. Let's craft up some of these screws. And what was it? How many did we need? It was 12 per reinforced plate. So let's craft up, I don't know, we'll craft up 48 or 64. Let's just craft up 80. Why not? Uh, and then we need to make the iron plates. So we need to make quite a few of these. But we will have enough to just stick in. We just have to keep running backwards and forwards from the mines to grab that up. Right, let's make the two. We only need two of these, I think, for now. And what else was it for it? We need two bits of wire. So let's... The cable, sorry. We'll make some copper. Then we'll craft up some cable. 
And then that should be enough for us to construct our constructor. So if we actually actually stick it over this side, because it all comes out this other end. So if you face it this way, as far as I remember, we can make something here. We can we can break it down and move it at any point. You get all your resources back when you break stuff down. But let's see what we can craft over here. Let's see if we can get our... Uh, let's make cable, power line, book. There we go. Now it all should be on there. How much are you using right now? Because you might have to craft another one of these fairly soon. We have in this one. Right, so what do we need to make more than anything right now? We need to make 75 iron plates. Let's grab all that. And we'll make some iron plates for the beginning. Uh, iron plates. Ingots. Go in there. Craft me up. We'll run and quickly grab the copper. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll do a run. Copper, limestone, and iron. Let's collect all that. Thank you very much. We might need to stick a, a couple on here so they can have a, we can pick up like 300 at a time. I really need to get these guys automated soon. Uh, grab all because we need I think we need the better miner because it's just a portable one so we can stick a better that that looks cool as hell I didn't even see that there is that a bone I like that a lot it looks like a bone to be honest it does look cool but it sounded like something was following me then I didn't like that at all so let's go and stick this in here we need iron ore in here thank you very much and we need more copper ore in there Uh, we need to get copper or, or ingots out of that, sorry. Let's grab those. We need to make 75 iron plates. So we made 22 so far. We will stick more iron ingots in there. We should be just grabbing that every 6 seconds. We need 20. We'll make the copper wire ourselves. Not copper wire, the wire itself. So we'll make loads of this real quick while we're waiting for that to go done with the metal plates. We need to make 20 cables. We've got four in us so far. We only need 16. There we go. 16 of those. And we need to make 10 concrete. We already have that. So now we basically just need the... Uh, I'm going to continue crafting it, to be honest. Right. How many of these have you made so far, sir? You've only made 36. Do you have any iron ingots for me? We'll make some plates with you as well. We need to make a craft it. We need to make that crafting area. I think it might have some better things in there. Let's make some more of these iron plates. We can make 16 of them. We do need quite a decent amount of them, to be honest. Right. Go over and grab these. We've got the iron plates over here. We have 40. How many do we have so far? 74. We need one more. Come on. There we go. Boom. There we go. Done. Let's upgrade the hub one more time. See what it does for us. Upgrade. We need the metal plates. We need the wire. And we need the concrete. Upgrade. What does Hub it do upgrade now? Upgrade 4. Landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor Ooh. belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. What if is that? this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Something's coming. Something I don't like is coming towards me, is that weird? Come here. I'm gonna cut. Come here. Luckily for me, this is not a combat game. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. Let's grab up some of the iron in here so we can have some more. So, conveyor belts are used to fully automated resource transportation between buildings. Okay. So, let's see if we... What do we need to craft some conveyor belts? Conveyor belt, conveyor pole. Okay, let's just make a conveyor belt real quick. Can you... No. Can we do a crossway or what? What do we need? Missing iron plates. So we need to craft more iron plates. We've got a load in here. So what is this? How do we... Can we change what this one does? So we can split them, maybe? 
I can't remember how to do it. Snap mode, lock hologram. Uh, quick switch E. So I'm guessing we only have the one type of conveyor belt. So what, what did it actually fill out? Okay, we got 100 copper ingots there, 100 iron ingots there. We'll stick more iron ingots there to make more plates. Are we running out of power? We still have a decent amount and we got loads of leaves on us. Let's try and... I can't remember how this works properly. So we'll go going across. That's kind of cool. But it's going to be in the way. So we'll have to go around. Are we going to have enough? And then have it go into the front of the other one. I guess. You know what we should do? Should go in here. We'll lock this one down. Boom. Okay. Lovely jubbly. We will craft up another one of those smelters. We'll spin it around because it goes in that side, comes out that side. Can you attach them? No, you can't. Okay. Right, we'll try and do that. We'll put the conveyor in over here. To this one. Lovely. And then we'll put this one over to this one. And then we have iron and copper all going to the same one. But we do need to get some wire connection over here to here. Let's go grab up. So now we have our connection. There's going to be putting ore into that one, into that one, and the ingots go into over here. We are going to get in, we are going to need to have several of each of these constructors so we can have constructions things because eventually they're going to be mixing it up. So it's kind of like you got to start off just making it simple. And as you go along, it's, I mean, it's okay to just jump in and do it all complicated straight away if you played this game before. That's not an issue. It's been so long since I played this that I have to kind of do it in a uh, very sort of simple way. It's just been a long time. So I haven't really been able to do a lot of that in a little while. But we're going to try and get this going across. Where, what happened to the... There is over there. This one over here. I need to get the next level of miners. That's the, the next bet. What do we have out of this equipment thing now? Right, let's chuck these in here. This one was copper. So we'll stick the copper in. Because we kind of need to have a big storage container over there. Portable miners in a zapper. We've already got these. Complete hub five. What do we have for the five? Storage container. That's the thing we need right now so we can everything go in place. So we need the miner mark one. This is really important and we get plus three inventory slots. So what do we need to do this? We need 75, 50, and 20 concrete. These guys are going through. They're not being used right now. What have you got? We need to make you give off some iron. We can only put 100 in there at a time. And you are making those. We need you to stop making these. Uh, how do we cancel it? Get out. Uh, we don't need you anymore. How do we cancel you? Stand by. Stop. Production. Select recipe. Iron rod. I was having a moment of madness. And now we can make the iron rods as quickly as possible. 15 per minute. So you need a lot of those. We can make the wire ourselves and the concrete, actually. So let's make 20 concrete. How many do we have in us? We already got 20 concrete. Let's make the wire. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can make the 20, uh, the 50 cable. We need to make quite a decent amount of cable. Come on. Faster for me. Hit me faster. I'm pretty sure the missus is probably dying of boredom watching me do this game because she likes the more running around, the attack, exploring stuff with the cool things. This is like this is like playing an Excel file, to be honest. Literally. This is kind of like playing an Excel file for people who don't like this kind of thing. But eventually you can build up some pretty like ridiculously look things. It's really, really good. So you can see that now this guy is making these. They're not using these at the moment. So it doesn't do anything. But if they were using it, it would go through. And then it would have the copper and iron going through. And now they're using this. To, and we kind of just have to have a box coming out the back here. When we do upgrade to the next point. And we have a box coming out the back. D -d 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 right. What's this? What's it? Equipment workshop. We need to break this down real quick. Because it's going to be in the way. And we don't really need it right now. We can build another one in a little while. What else do we need? We had the 50 wire. We have to, we need to make the 50 cable. I don't know why I didn't make the 50 cable. So if we make the 50 cable. And then we can make the upgrade to get the storage containers and the miners. And we can connect all those together. We do have to probably make some more power here soon. 
there's the 53 and now we need to make the iron rods we can only make four right now but we can make a load of iron ingots and there's a lot of them to make how many do we how many have we made so far i can't even see we've got 35 oh no we're just making iron ore iron ingots sorry I'm losing my bloody words Remember, if you do enjoy the content, guys, make sure to subscribe, chuck up a like, leave down a comment down below if you'd like to see more of satisfactory content. There's a lot you need to do in this game. There's a lot. And I'd really love to get back into it. But if it's something you guys aren't interested in, I can just play this by myself in my own time because I'll have more than enough time and fun to do that. Uh, so it's really up to you guys. Let me know down below. And we've almost got the iron ingots completed to make the iron rods. There we go. We should have, actually, we should have an absolute crap ton over here now. Let's try and do that. Uh, do we have enough? We have 82. Let's turn it to standby. We don't need to use that anymore. Uh, we will put the other 50 ore in there. Uh, you can get the copper in there. We've got a lot of copper ingots. Let's stick it in this box over here for a minute. So we're not taking up loads of space. So, uh, copper. Can we? Yeah. Copper. So we have the wire. We have that. Let's chuck it in here. Did I get? We do. There's 75. 50 and 20 and then we can get the ball rolling quite significantly now new buildings and player upgraded Hold upgrade five power expansion completed the miner unlike portable miners can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function caution as you expand the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid the onboarding program was established because fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall if you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Right, so we have that going on there. Oh, so I was just making it so we can do it in a straight line, just so I can... And if you see, when we're doing this, so we're going to go in and we're going to do organization storage container. You can see that when you have it directly in a straight line, you'll have those lines that flow across the screen there. That, that's sort of to keep it in a distance. We do need some more iron poles. Grab some iron rods. Craft up a lot of these real quick because we're going to have to do one for each side. So we'll do one for each side so we can have it going in and going out on the either end. So I'm going to get it so you can see it kind of... The line goes across like that. Do we have enough to make the other one? We do indeed. So we will be putting this on the other side so we can have the storage going across there and then we can just go in here make some conveyors to that point and we go over this side and we make more conveyors to that storage container to this point so then when we're doing this we can get our copper ores and stuff our standard stuff we can put in this side like we can put limestone and stuff in there because maybe it can start taking and it'll start taking it into there our collected stuff that we can have can go on the other side. So when we're crafting stuff, um, eventually we'll be able to convert, like put all of it into one area. Let me just sort this real quick. Because uh, I need to make a power station at some point, which will probably be the next part of it. I think that's everything we have. We do need to go and grab it. So let me just go and grab some of this ore up here. We'll grab this copper ore. We'll grab the limestone. And it just goes through the conveyor, conveyor belts from building to building. It makes it sort of like eventually... You'll, you'll see some nutsness like there, there's there's some absolutely amazing builds out there where you can build like basically a midgar like building where all of the all constructions coming out of one part and it all connected all the way through so nothing you don't have to run around anymore it's just doing it by itself and that's kind of what you have to do with the end game so let's chuck this over here in this construction box uh we'll chuck all the stuff that has been made the iron ingots can go on the other side because that's still kind of a base material and it can go through the entire construction uh, iron ore. We did need to grab that limestone. Did I grab the limestone? I just didn't grab the copper. Is what I didn't grab. Show over this side. And we can go across and grab the copper there. Like it does get... I can see why some people would find this like uh, like uninteresting when you're, do when you're playing games like Soul Mask, when you're playing games like Return to Mario with the exploration stuff. You can do all the exploration stuff on there and you can find some really cool things. It's just the the main the main thing in this game is just built. Oh, we have another one. Lovely. Let's put the grass in there. How much do we have left in there? We've got a decent amount. Uh, we do need to connect you, Mr. Cable Guy, to here. So we have double connected power. <laughs> And then we can go in here. See how all that's going inside? 
Uh, we can put that in there. That in there. Copper. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we can have... The iron ingots and stuff go on this side. Where's the copper? There's some stuff here. Limestone, etc. And then we have on the constructor. Say, for instance, we want to create a lot of concrete. Now we can do the concrete. We can. There's no power. Why is there no power? Everything's connected, man. Why are you not? Ah, oh, because I didn't connect you. Did I connect you? Or do we need more? Too many power lines. No empty power line connections. Okay, let's build another one of these power things, which we need. Poles, cement, and... There. There we go. Do, 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 do. Couple of wire. We do need to make more of that. Let's grab... Iron ingots and nothing. Uh, bu, 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 bu. What we got over here? Copper ingots. There's some copper ingots over here we can pick up as well so it doesn't ruin the conveyor belt. It doesn't fill up everything. We will grab these iron ingots. And then I'm going to kick the power over here. Let's create some wire. I don't remember exactly how many it said for me to create, but we need to make some concrete as well, which we already have somewhere. I believe we have concrete already here. Let's grab that and make another power cable so it connects to here oh we need a metal pole do we have any metal poles inside we do indeed let's grab that up and let's connect this one over here so what we're actually gonna have to do is there nowhere to connect so i need to get rid of let's go into this one and get rid of one of these that's the closest one so we'll grab you real quick get rid of you and we can then go over here collect you to this one and then we can connect you to this, you to this. That one doesn't need power, I don't believe. Does this one need power? Power line. No, you don't need. Okay, we're good. So everything should be going across now. And then we'll have it creating over here. So because we've got the limestone on the other one, we can make concrete. But the limestone... Why isn't this working now? Do you not have power? You are powered, right? Yeah, you're on. Your power's on. Because we've got all of this stuff going across. So it needs to continuously be moving and make sure that it's not got any blockage. Why aren't you going through there? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong here? Can we get you out of the way? Or do you need to have... No, we don't need to go power line. Right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that storage container is going to have to have... We're going to have to have the different storage containers going to the same thing. Mm. I thought we could have done this in a different way. I was going to try and do it this way. I'm not an expert at this game. We need to have... I guess we're going to have to have separate lines for each one. So we're going to try and do that again. Let's try and do that again. Let's collect everything that we have inside of these boxes real quick. Take all. We're going to press F. We're going to dismantle you. We're going to dismantle you. You can stay there with... That one is making copper. So you can stay there with the copper. We'll break you down. We'll break you down. And then we'll pick up all this stuff. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. We don't want all of this stuff keep coming out. Come on. Take all. Get out of the way. And we'll try that again. I was hoping it was going to be working in a similar way. I guess I got that completely bloody wrong. We'll pick this up, storage container, and then we'll craft another storage container. We'll have this one in front. Let's turn you around. Are you in? Let's put you there. That doesn't seem like it's in the bloody line, does it? That didn't seem like it was in a line at all. Storage container. Come on. Why does it look like there? But that looks like it's on the other side. So we need to be on. Why is. Ah, there we go. There we go. That should work now. We get it in line. Boom. Okay. Now we can build our conveyor into this one. And in this one, we can have. This one is the copper, correct? No, this is iron. So we'll do the iron in this one. Where's our iron ore? Iron ore is here. That's not iron ore, that's copper ore. Is that copper? Yeah, we just picked up the wrong one. This is all iron. We need to grab that one copper out of the way. Two copper. There's iron. And then in here, we can make the iron ingots. Then in this one at the end, we can make... Where are you going? We're not going to make concrete. We'll go to select recipe and we'll make... 
Say, for instance, we'll make... What do we need for the next thing? That'll be the best bet. I don't know why I keep jumping into the menu. What do we need to complete Hub 6? Hub 6, upgrade, space elevator. Uh, select milestone. So we're going to need 100 of each. So we'll go into here and we'll create 100 bars. Select recipe, iron rods. And then on the other side of this, we'll have to make a container. Let's make another container on this side. Let's see if it's going to get a line there. There we go. Boop. And then we can play this. Oh, the wrong one. But but in there. And then all of the iron bars are going to come out this side. There it is. So we're going to need a sorter. That's what I forgot about. I forgot you're going to need the sorter because then it will all get confused. Now we're going to have to make another one for the copper. We're going to have to make another one for the uh, limestone to make the concrete. And then we'll have to have a storage container for all the pieces, like the iron ingots, to make the iron pieces and a copper one for the copper ones. Basically, is what we're going to have to do at this point. So if we go in, we can make a storage container. Let's start with the storage container. We'll have this go up next to this one. Like this. And then we can go into the next part, which is a smelter. And we can plant the smelter there. And it's going to be in line. We'll plant the smelter there. Then we'll make a constructor. If we have enough to make it. I don't know. Uh, we don't. We need... What was that? Reinforced iron plates it was, I believe. So we need to make some reinforced iron plates real quick. Let's just craft two of those. We're going to need two. We'll make all four of them. Because we are going to need those. Because we're going to need to make a couple more of these. And then we go across. We will need to pop it out a little bit. Let's go into the building mode and grab out the constructor. Are we still got... No, we st oh, we need eight wire. Just being special. I thought we had it all on us. And once they make 100 of that, we could we could have made it more basic and just when it got to 100, it will stop making it. Uh, we do need to make cable. Let's make some wire first. And then we can make some cable. It's always nice when you just have to like delete everything and figure it all out again. But I really don't mind that. It's, I find most of the fun in this game is literally just getting stuff wrong and, and figuring it out afterwards. So let's see if we can fit you in there. We can't fit you right next to it. So what we're going to have to do is try and get you as close as possible. And have you there. And I press the wrong button. We'll go and put you in there. Then we'll get our construction, bo our construction box. Organization, storage container. Can we make you? What do we need? 10 steel and 10 plate. So we have some of those in there. Can I change the recipe for a moment to the iron plate, sir? Would that be nice? Thank you very much. That would be lovely if you can do that for me. We'll make iron plates. And so now we change that. The iron plates will be coming through here once it's sorted. There we go. We've got some iron plates. And you can just pick them straight off the conveyor belt. Do we have enough power for you guys? You have 347 leaves left. Lovely. Why, can't, why are you not connected, sir? You need to be connected in there. Everyone needs to be connected. We will need to make another power line over here, I think. Because what we'll do is we'll... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, so there's the two power lines over to this one. And if we put a power line over here, so if we delete this guy, let's go out into here, we'll delete this guy, this guy, and this guy, with this guy. So we won't have anything connected except for the two things connected to these. Then we'll create another pole in the middle here. And then that should be okay there. Now what we're going to do is get a cable, power line, to here, power line. And then we can have the power going to this one. Power going to this one. Because you don't need them in these storage containers. We have those two over there. We'll have a power line going to this one. And that should be enough to do all of them, actually. Can we do a power line to here? No empty power line connection. So we will have to stick you on there. So every part is still going to be kind of connected to here. And everything should be on right now. So all we needed on the other side was to create the steel plates to make the storage container. Let's go around this. This should be working. It is working. Lovely jubbly. And then we'll go in here to grab these plates. There's not many. I guess we're running out of iron ore. It looks like we're running out of iron ore. So we need to build the equipment thing again. Where's the equipment? Uh, special equipment workstation. Let's stick you over this side. We'll have you facing over here. We need to have you in a straight because I'm going to get really confused if it doesn't. And let's see if we can make over here. Portable miners is what we're going to be creating out of that. 
Excuse me, gonna be coughing for the next five minutes. Let's grab you real quick. So can I build this organization logistics power constructor smell a miner mark one? So you need a portable miner. Oh what what is that? Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. Right over it. We'll click this. This is a portable miner. We need to pick can we pick the one up we got already? Can we pick the one up we got already? Uh pick up miner. Lovely. So we have the miner picked up. So all we need now is the we need ten steel plates, iron plates, sorry. And then we can go and do that because we should have the concrete. Let's stick the is that iron or copper? Copper, iron. I wish we could make these a little bit bigger. Uh da, 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 let's sort it. Because then we have that's copper. There's more iron ore there. Let's put you inside. And we'll put the copper in here. We need to turn this on and make this copper ingots. And we should have enough to make the storage container. So it goes in that way. Okay. Let's get you. What do we need? We still need 10 steel plates. Ah, because it wasn't making them. Okay. Got it. Let's grab these as they're going through. Are you not crafting anymore? So we need three iron ingots per. Can we make the storage container yet? No, nope, we still need five more. Copper ingots aren't doing anything. So what can you make out of this? We'll make you make some... We'll make you make copper wire. So you can just make copper wire. We just need to get a couple more metal plates. I might have some in here that we can just make it real quick. Let's just make that. Although I do have absolutely crap tons of iron ingots on me here. So I should really be just placing them in here, to be honest. There we go. Can I put you inside or not? Can I put you in there? Yeah, we can. So you can be part of the system still. And then you can make me as many plates as I need. Because we need a box over here. For the storage container. Got these bloody bushes. And then storage container. Let's put you there. And boop, boop. And now we have it going all the way. Now we have the copper wire being made that's going into this box. Now eventually we're going to be able to connect these in a different way. I really wish I'd remembered that you need to have it. I was kind of like forgot that these would get stuck as they're making. I mean, at some point you're going to be making Sundays. They get stuck on one side. You need these free flowing all the time. So you'd have a, a connector that will go into two different directions that can end up in two of these for the one iron thing so you can make both iron the iron bars and iron plates at the same time and then both of those will go into another bar they can create something else and then something else and then something else but we need to make a hundred plates we need to make a couple wire and we need to make 50 cement the cement we can make by ourselves but i wanted to make the miner up here for the iron ore which was the, the, what do we still need we need to make 10 cement so we're gonna make 10 cement which I need to make another line to make cement, but we'll for the moment we'll just do the cement concrete, sorry. We'll make any ten of those to make the iron. So what we're gonna do, I'll show you what's gonna happen from this point on. It's gonna go we're gonna place the miner here. So the miner's gonna go that way and it's gonna have a connection there. So then we're gonna use this, which takes uh, a decent amount of steel plates, so we need to get some more steel plates. But what we're gonna do is craft one of these and we're gonna face it this way. Can we have it directly fit? See how it gives you a line to show you it's somewhat in the middle. So we'll put that there. And then we'll go get some steel plates and we'll make the conveyor belt that goes from there. The miner, which we also need to get the power connected to it. Let's go get that. We can make that and connect it. And then the uh, iron is going to be mined from here directly into this box, directly into that. And you will never run out while this is still got stuff access so we'll go down to that point we'll craft you and then go to there so we can get it going off in a different direction so now this thing once it's powered is going to be mining quite a decent amount we need to go get power uh, i need to do power pole and try to get uh we need copper wire and cement still so let's try and get that going we need to make more cement i keep saying cement concrete guys concrete and what was it so we needed wire right I think it said wire, but we're going to make that and make some... We'll make a, as much wire as we can with what we got in here. Oh, we got loads of bloody wire being made. Keep forgetting. We're going to need the cable and wire in here, so we'll just grab that. We'll grab some more of this. 
and then we can make another power pole so we have a power pole that goes up over here but we need wire which this guy these guys are making over here this one over here you have to remember where you've got everything at some point as well because it does take a pretty decent amount of time so we'll grab that wire and then we can craft a pole which that pole's gonna go we're gonna put the pole one pole here and we'll put another pole here and then with that we will connect a wire to here is it gonna hit it's four out of four god damn it uh we will delete this one and then we'll put that wire to there we'll connect you to there and then we'll connect you <laughs> it can be a bit much sometimes and we connect you to there and now we have a fully running iron mine so this guy will start popping out the ore and you can actually get driven around with your ore but we do need to actually build the uh, copper mine that's going to come right across so we might have to change the location of the copper mine to be able to make those and I'd, i can't like we need to get a conveyor belt that goes into let's go in here edit to do list no okay sweet i didn't even know that was a thing that must have not been there last time so we've got production constructor smelt on miner we got the miners over there so we need to actually make a miner as well over this side can we, do we have enough to make some more power lines? So I'm going to make another power line over here. Make a power line over here. Get these guys connected. Can I connect you right now? You should be able to. Let's connect you to there. We'll connect you over to here. And what we'll do on this side for the moment, because it's all being connected over there, uh, we will have to try... Let's pick up this guy. Pick you up. Pick up miner. We've got that and the copper ore. Let's see if we can... Can we make you right now? Where's the special? production minor we can make you right now and we want it to be coming out that way so with that we can put our actual let's put this down over here we'll have it like coming down over here just for now and then we'll go in because i want to be able to get as much as i can while we're doing this so we'll turn this around face it that way now we want to face it the other way <laughs> so let's have it facing there so we can have a little bit of a dodgy construction here but it's gonna work for the moment we'll stick this here uh we need to get iron plates and then that's just gonna mine automatically itself into that box and when we need it we can just pick up as much as we can but we really should have it connected to the front of this copper thing over here we've got copper wire being made there we need the metal plates thank you very much and we could sort of connect it in a dodgy way from here at some point so we can get it going over here and we can just like put a load of these down so for instance we'll just have this one here we'll keep it down at a low uh we do need more cement so we'll go over here into the crafting thing we'll craft up a load of cement i keep saying cement it's bloody concrete self concrete let's craft up all that we can of these we're going to take a few of them and then we're going to get to hub upgrade 6. We'll try to get as high as we can in the hub upgrades to see how far. So I can show you some of the extra things. Uh, there's going to be some splitters that are unlocked soon. Which is going to get kind of annoying. But what we need to do over here. We need to get this guy to be kind of here. And we'll place you down. We'll place you to the wrong way. To here. And then we kind of need to uh, do it over this way. So if we get this guy and we get him to come this way. Over here. Just for the minute, we'll get you to go there. And we'll connect you over to this one. Well, connect you to this one. And then this guy should be... Uh, uh, did we not set it? We didn't set it, did we? Copper. It's got no power. Why has he got no power? We did power connect. We didn't. Because we're special. Uh, power, can you make that there? Power connected? Now we're connected. So now this whole thing is really dodgy looking. I'll tell you that. It's really dodgy looking, but now we're going to be able to make as much copper as we can. Because we have the uh, uh, copper pure iron mine here. And you'll see it coming out here. And it will start heading down. Now we put a container in the middle. I put a container in the middle just in case there's a backlog of the, uh, of the copper ore. So the copper ore will go into here. And if it does a backlog, then you can have some storage. I always put storage in between, so there is some. If there's some issues, you can do it. It's going to start putting the copper into this box, and the, but the copper, because there's not going to be enough in there, it will just move straight away, out, 
of that storage container only if there's a backup so you can keep it kind of going if there is a little bit of a backup and then if you see a backup on one of these guys here then you can uh, get it from that area but you can see all the iron ore going into there all the iron ore is now being smelted in the smelter we there's a lot of iron ore in here it's still continuously moving but it does stop a few times so you are going to need several smelters but we don't have what we need with the conveyor belts right now we need a splitter so we can split this storage container into two and have two smelters working at the same time and then you can go and go and split and split and split and split and split it's kind of like some weird like evolutionary diagram where how we started off at some swamp creature and ended up at humanity it just branches out and branches out and branches out it's cool as shit i do really like it uh we do need to make the limestone one over here so i will try to do we can go all right we're gonna do this in a really un satisfactory way yes i used that yes i did say that yes it's not good uh we'll go out this way we need to we need to get more iron poles what did i just break what just broke down are you working we ran out of power no power we ran out of power because i haven't got anything in the generators uh uh, uh pull lever to reset fuse bump so we've got no fuel in there. We will put that in there. Okay, so reset. There we go. We have fuel in there. Lovely. We'll put some wood in this bad boy. Uh, One of your power grids has shut down. Yeah, but why? Why is this happening? Uh, consume, consume, production, production. Okay. It should have enough in here. Now, it's all been working fine, but I don't, something's gone wrong. What's gone wrong? What exploded? Maybe we have too much on these two, but we can't make any more power yet. Du, 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 du. Right. Let us try to do something. How many do we have? We need 100 of those. How many do we have now? We've got 92. We do need to make some more. A couple more. Let's try and go in the box over here, see if we can't get a load of... Here it is. What's this? Copper ingots, copper ingots, copper ingots. We've got that and that. We need to go grab some more biomass fuel. So you can have another load in there. What does it say? Supportive fuel types. Mycelia, wood, and leaves. So let's get you burning at least the wood over here. Let's try... Okay. Fix the brown fuse. We're good now. We do need to go get a load more wood, though. Uh, do I can I chop these trees down? No. Why can't I chop you down? We need more trees. Can I search for something else? No. We need wood. I'm just gonna grab a load of these leaves. We're gonna grab crap loads because we need to fill in and make sure it doesn't go down again. Because it's an unsatisfactory thing to do if it doesn't work properly. Let's try and get to the next hub upgrade. You pretty much get the gist of what you can do in this right now. But we'll get to the next hub upgrade, get that done, get that completed. See what's in the next part. <laughs> and we'll see what we're going from there. All safe starting in eight, seven, six, five, four. We'll have leaves in one of the generators and we'll put wood in the other so it can continue on nicely. Uh, we need to put 500 leaves of you in there and we'll put more wood in here. And what was it? 12 per minute. Okay, there you go. We have a decent amount. Let's just stack that up, sort it, boom. And this is working again. We are creating... We, I don't know if we're going to... What we have in this box over here? We've got, we got the 100 plates now, I believe. Yes. So we can actually go over here, go to select recipe, make iron... No, yeah, iron rods now. So we need to make iron rods, 15 per minute. Just saying goodbye to the missus. She's going to take our horse of a dog for a walk. Because I am completely being overtaken by satisfactory levels of satisfaction. So she's going to do the good stuff. Let's jump over here. We're going to jump over. And that is a lot of copper coming out of there, boy. It's a beautiful thing when you can see how these things work, man. I really do love it. And also, if there's any tips you guys can give me of anything that I'm doing right now, let me know down below in the comments as well. I do love to be criticized in all of the stuff I do because I'm really bad at most things that I do. We need to make copper. We're making, we've got loads of copper wire. We need to make the concrete is what we need to make. So we need to make 50 of that. And that should get us to the next hub upgrade. 
Apologies, taking a big old drink. That's what you need when you need to when you talk as much as I do. Let's jump over. And whether it's here, over to here, over to here, we'll grab that. We need that, we got it. Now all we're looking for is the poles over here. Iron rods which go straight into these containers. Uh what I'd like to do though is get another splitter that have all of these go into one container so we can have everything just turn up into one container while we can do it you can get some of the bigger containers later or we can have like a big container for one each part then have it connect into a single line into another container so it all just moves through and we can get it all from the same box Are you guys okay you need some more leaves because we've got a lot of power being done right now burning fuel quite extensively Right, need to sort that out. Right, we need 80 metal bars. Come on, sir. Make me more. Make me quicker. We're going to have to take some of these iron bars. We'll take some of you guys. Uh, iron ingots. Give me iron ingots. Can I pick you up? Let me pick you up. Pick you up. Pick you up. How many am I picking up? I'm picking up four at a time. We have 103 on us right now. We're going to help it. We're going to help it by making some iron rods. Uh, where are we? Okay. Right. I think we're gonna have we're gonna be able to make this without him to be honest i think we're just about as quick as doing it right so now we should have everything to go into here we have 101 118 we have 248 copy wire and we have the 50 cement let's upgrade the hub new builders new parts player upgraded hub upgrade six landing platform hydraulics completed freighter landing initialized Congratulations, <laughs> you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit Pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier Look 1 and 2 that. milestones what are now that? available in the hub and biomass that burners some, can now that be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. Build the space elevator. Build, we've got tier one, tier two, base building. We can select this milestone to create a base with a lookout tower and all this sort of stuff. Um, this, some of this stuff wasn't even in the game when I was playing it. See how we got the conveyor splitter? We got the conveyor merger. So we have two going into one and one that goes out into two and we have the conveyor lift that goes from one level to a higher level so you can build i think we're gonna go for uh personal storage box we don't need that object man what's this molecular analysis machine used to analyze new and toxic materials found on alien planets through the mam r d okay sweet let's have a look what we got in here assembler a two-way assembler crafts two parts into another part that's what we're gonna we're gonna need that at some point we're going to grow as much of the frames as small parts. Obstacle clearing. We need a chainsaw so we can make tree. Fuel, biofuel. Ooh, we need that biofuel. That's going to be really important. So let's select the milestone for this. And we can create. We need to create a lot. Holy crap. Uh, these two are easy to make. We'll get this to make the bolts. But I think we're going to need the assembler to do that. I'm not really sure. Select recipe. Screws. Which takes iron rods. So we need to make another one out of the back here. Let's try and do it. So we need a storage container. Not on the storage container, sorry. We're going to need a splitter. We need this to be making iron rods. No, iron rods into this. That's correct. And then we can do another one that goes into another constructor. We'll have it going this way. Just have it in a weird direction. We'll have you going over here. We'll connect you but and to book because when you're making the iron roll iron rods we then need to make screws so we'll make the iron rods that turn into screws so the iron rods will come over here we'll start making screws we need to connect this to power i don't we don't have enough over here so we do need to create another rod uh we need to what's this attached to these two attached to okay sweet we'll get you off we need to take you off just for a second don't get upset don't get upset no wrong one i just really did it again just being special two wire to that one and then we can do a wire from this one to this one so now it's powered up and then we can do a wire from this one to this one and then we need to create a storage container on the other side uh organization storage container do we have enough to make it 
Uh, what are we missing? Iron poles. Let's craft those up. Uh, 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 storage container. Okay. So we will fit you in there like that. Get you bop to over to here or not? Is it not going to fit? Why not? Because I got it in a weird angle. Let's break that down real second. It should have fit in there nicely, to be honest. Is it not straight? It's not straight, is it? Let's try and get it that way. Nope. Nope. Are you going to work this time or are you not going to work? No. Why are you not going to work? Why would you keep pissing about? Fuck it. I put it there like that. We need to clear all this stuff's going to get deleted eventually anyway. We're, is it because we're missing parts? That's why it wasn't connecting. What are we missing? Concrete. Just pay attention, Sof. Pay attention to what's happening in your screen. Create more concrete. We've got all the concrete being made. Okay, that should be enough now. We'll break you down on the end over there. Okay, then we'll put you over here. Can you have a straight line? No. Is it? That needs to go one, two, that way. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to have it there. Then, boop. Invalid conveyor belt shape. Missing materials. We need iron plates. Iron plates, here we come. Because I need to make screws. Iron plates. Let's make these. <laughs> we should have enough right now. Come on. Please don't piss about. Please don't piss about. But can we go? It needs to be higher. God damn it. Okay. Sweet. This. You're going to get make me upset and make me put you in an area I don't want to put you in. So we're going to get there. We'll put this in the middle. And have it going like that. We'll get you to go to that. And you to go... Oh, I know why. I'm fucking hell. How many people screamed at me for having that wrong? Because it goes in that way. Uh, let's go there. Okay, let's get you into that. And there we go. Now we're making screws and the screws are all going to go in there. Okay, we're good. I was having a moment of madness, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute moment of madness. Now we have everything going through. The iron ore has been taken out. That mine's going into this box. Do we have a load of... We do have a lot. So I want to just quickly make this into something better. So we're going to break... I mean, we need to get those screws though. We need to make those screws and get them continue to be made. But what I need to do is actually go to conveyor. Oh, is it, where is it? Where's the split? Oh, is it the next one that I have to put it into that we get the conveyor? What do we make? A space elevator. Requires special parts. It requires a hell of a lot. Let's try and... You know what we should do? We should try to build the space elevator as part of this quest. So we need 500 cement. We need 250 plates, 400 iron bars. So let's try and get that going. We're going to make... Go over to... Where it is? We'll go over here and we'll create this guy and make our concrete mixing dude over here we'll pick up this guy pick up the miner and then we will craft where is it oh, we've got a biomass burner we've got a better one there how many connectors does that have does it show you how many connectors it has it doesn't but we do need to make another biomass burner probably here soon uh production space elevator equipment workshop the hub we already made one of those miner can we fit you on there? Are you going to fit on there? We can turn you around and make you go that way. So now the miner's on there. We are going to put... I want it all kind of be connected to the main base. So, What's going to come and attack me? Something sounds like it was about to attack me. So what will... Oh, God. That sounded like a lion. Where'd it go? Damage. Damage. Damage to fix it property. Hog remains. Right, let's jump in and we'll put the logistics box storage container. Do we have enough? We need to make a load more iron plates. Fuse, fuse blown. We have a fuse blown. We need to go fix it. And it's all connected to the same power. Right. Oh, we've got no fuel in there. That's why. Let's go, make, let's go get a load of fuel. We have to make a load of fuel. 
We should we should be able to start making some better fuel here soon, which needs to be made a lot better. Then running around grabbing shitloads of leaves. That wood should have lasted a hell of a lot longer, to be fair, but it didn't. Okay, come on, wood, 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 leaves, wood, wood, wood. We'll get a thousand leaves. So we can stick 500 in there. It is taking a lot more power. So we might need to build another burner to spread the power out, to be honest. I'm guessing that's what we're going to have to do anyway. It's been such a long time since I played this. Right, let's go across the field over here. We need to grab as many leaves as we can. We've got a thousand here in a second. We still have some in the other one anyway. So this one needs to have 500 leaves put in there. Okay, sweet. And then we put 500 in there. Sweet. Fuse. Bonk. There we go. Back in business. We're making... That looks cool as shit, to be honest. Look, it actually shows you it's making the stuff that you're making. So how many screws do we have right now? We have 188. So you have the copper. You're making the copper wire over here. We need to set you up to also now make the cabling. Because what was needed for that sky, the, the sky elevator, space elevator? We needed just... Oh, because you're just making the copper wire. That's what we need. We need 1,500 of this copper wire. It seems to have a bit of a slow production going over here. So, because it's two wire every 30 minutes. So, we do have quite a decent amount. We can give it some help eventually. I need to get over here. We need to go inside, see how many iron bars this guy's made. No, nope, it needs to be in this one. No, nope, this one. Oh, I didn't put a bloody thing in between of it. Let's grab up a load of these and make up some plates. So we can get our cement farm set up. Iron plates. There we go. We can only make 14, really. Didn't pick up that many, I guess. Okay, so. Here we go. Are you making a decent amount? So you got 70, 79 in there. Okay, sweet. And then we'll make the iron plates. As many as we can. Apologies, getting a drink. So there should be enough iron plates for what we need. Although, we should probably make a little bit of wire. We've got a load there. We'll make some cabling. Because we need to set up the power as well to go over that way. Okay. Do we have the iron rods? Do I have enough? I do. Let's, uh, let's get the power set up so it can get over to here. Okay, we'll put you to there, and also, what are we missing? Concrete. Of course we're missing concrete, because we haven't set it up yet. We need, a, we need a singular construction over here. We need to make a... Have a box where everything goes into. But we've only got the double splitters right now. I'll have to make an actual plan to set it out and make it all complete. And get it all connected to the singular thing. So we have all the miners going into one container. So we get one container where all the ores and stuff go into one container. And then you can set what's being created in one of these. So you can split it on the conveyor belt split. So we can have, for instance, these two going into one larger container. But we don't have the larger container unlocked yet. We've got the biomass burner. Which... We haven't got anything to break. What do we? What can we put in the biomass burner? What's this? Hellberry. Store one health segment. We get it over time anyway. Two health segments with. We do need to start crafting our armor and stuff soon. Eventually. What do we get for? Uh, we need screws over here. Active milestone. And this will give us the chainsaw to get some solid biofuel being made. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jump pads. That can get you around a lot better. Resource sync bonus program. Awesome shop. Awesome sync. Build gun. Upgrade customizer. Logistics. We do need to get more of this. To go up and down as we're going through. It can get really complicated. It can get really complicated. And we can start building this out of structures. It does require some decent amount though. Mm -mm -mm. We can make basic walls and stuff and ramps. Hmm. What do we got on a tier two? 
Backup sheet, rotor, biofuel. We do need that one. That's the one I want. Do we have anything we can look off at this one right now? Because we can build this out so we can have everything on flat land rather than having it on all of this down here. How much fuel are we looking at? Whoa, that fuel's going... F it's going through in a, ma a massive amount. Okay. We need to build biomass burner. Which is going to be just a bigger version of the one we currently have. So we'll place that there. And hopefully this one will be able to... Uh, wrong way. We've got four connected to that one. We've got three connected to that one. So connect you. And we'll go grab some leaves real quick. And it should slow down the rate of burning by having that extra one there. Let's just grab up all of bloody... We need to make that solid fuel. So we need to make those 500 screws, the cables, and the concrete. And then we're going to try and build that space elevator as the final part of this playthrough. I don't know if we're going to be able to get as far as that. It's going to take a little while. Let's go into this biomass and we'll stick that in there. Now we have this one as well burning. 120 per minute. And how many have you got? You're 80 per minute because you're a smaller burner. 80 per minute. We need to find a better way. We need to get those screws. How many screws do we have so far? This screw's got 412. We'll go make the copper wire, uh, the, co the cabling. We'll make the cabling real quick. Because we've got a load of copper wire. Let's go and make the cabling. We need 100 cables. How many do we have so far? 27. We'll make 100 cables. Then we'll make the 100 concrete. But we do need to finish off the, uh, the belt that we have over there. So we'll make 150 cable for right now so we can get from this point to making the concrete on tap because that'll be something that we really need to do in a moment right that should be enough we'll go do the cabling over here do we have iron plates i'm sure we're gonna have it we've probably not got enough so you need to be connected over here we want to connect you guys as quickly as possible because we do need to get this biofuel unlocked to make it a lot easier for us uh, cable. It's a cable. Let's grab up all of these while we're here. We do need to grab as much of this as possible because it is going to take quite a decent amount. Uh, we'll get you cable connected to here. And we'll get the last cable over here. Connect you to this one and connect you to this one. So that should be all of that connected. Now we have that going. We need to put uh, organization storage container. We'll get that over here. We'll have you. That's the wrong way. We need to go in that way. There we go. And then after that, we're going to need to make... Uh, I think it's just production after this. We don't need a smelter for this one. But we do need two reinforced metal plates. Let's get over here. Get over the top over here. Try to put some more fuel in this because this is going to take an absolute buttload of fuel really quickly. Right. Grab that while we're here. We do need... I thought that was breaking then. Uh, iron ingots. What do we need to make the plates? Reinforced metal plates. We just need two. One. Two. Okay. Get over here. We'll make the... Thing. we'll make one more storage box so what we'll do is we'll make the constructor have it going around all the way around facing the right way of course and then we'll put the last organization the storage container which we do need some more metal poles for but we'll at least be able to start getting this going to get you into that one you need to go up here we need some more plates god damn it Are we still making plates over here? Jump over. Oh, can we climb over? We can. What are we making over here? It looks like we're not making bloody anything. We're making iron rods. Where are the iron rods going? Ah, you're making screws. I forgot about that. 
Right, let's see if we can grab. We've got some backup over here. So we can... It was iron rods we needed to make, right? If I remember correctly, anyway. We should have enough screws to get this and get the biofuel, solid biofuel being made. Biomass wood. What's this? Biomass. Primary uses fuel. Bio burns vehicles can use it for power. Bio is much more inefficient than raw biological matter. Let's craft that up then, I guess. Let's craft a load of this biomass fuel up. We're going to need a lot of it. We'll do three stacks for now, if we can. We can do more of it there. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if this goes in here nicely. Right. You need to go in there, sir. And how many? That's 10 per minute. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 6.6 .6 per 7 per minute. And we'll do that one there. I will go and make some more. I didn't even see the biomass in there, to be honest. That should have been something I saw straight away. We'll try and get as much out of it as we can. The 200 stacks are kind of bad, though. I think I need to craft some iron plates. Let's just craft as many of these as we can and get that going. We're at the one and a half hour mark, so we've got about 25 minutes to try and get that space thing up and running. Right. Let's see if we can craft the last piece over here. Get you into this thing, sir. There we go. And then we can create the logistics container and we'll have it going the right way. It's going to be a bit dodgy, but I want to get this. We have 25 minutes. We don't have that much time. We need to get you powered up. Cable over to here. No, wrong button. Who? Cable. Bot. Cable. Now everything should be done. It's going to go into this box. This guy over here. It's did I turn it off? There we go, we go. We need to make concrete. So you're going to make limestone into concrete into that over there. Now I really should have... It's looking dodgy as hell, but it's going to, it, it's, it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So now, let's go see if we can get these screws out of the way. Because if we've got these screws out of the way, I don't know how many screws we're going to need. What do we need for that? Where is it? Special. Space elevator. We don't need any screws at all. We need bars and plates so we can actually turn this bad boy off if we've got 500 screws we do have 500 screws so let's turn this off you can turn off now we don't need to make you anymore um you can back up but you're gonna end up once you back up you're just gonna go into here it's gonna be fine uh we need to make wires lots of wires i think we have the cables already Everyone going to bed. So we're going to have to be a little bit quieter now. It's a bit late. Uh, we're going to try and get... Uh, 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 concrete, concrete, concrete. They're already making a concrete over here now. Hopefully it's starting to go through it pretty quickly. So we can get it all set up and going. Uh, we got 16. How many do we have on us? 43. And how many is in this box? How much do we have on this front? We'll grab that and we'll make some ourselves. So we've got 25 minutes to finish this. Come on, I want to make the thing. I want to make it. I want to get there in time. Uh, concrete. Let's go. We'll have to find the screws. We just need to make the cabling after that, which we can. We've already got it. I think we've got everything. Once we get this 100. Come on, you can do it for me. We're going to have enough. We're not going to have enough. We can actually just go over pick up the rest over here i'm hoping right do we have enough now 93 jesus should have just crafted all we could have out of that box to be honest let's try and get it right concrete three two one but there we go let's get the obstacle clearing 500 of you 100 of you and 100 of you launch pod Watch it launch off. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. Lovely. To aid in biofuel production, Pod the chainsaw allows for the three removal minutes. of tougher wood and coral foliage. 
Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note, will you be the Fixit employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> the shit that they come out with in this game. Right, let's try uh, What else did we need to make the chainsaw? We needed more screws. God. And now was it that we need to make the solid biofuel? We should have like a... Well, I think we have to manually do the trees to make the biofuel. At least for the moment. Let's try and get some of this and see how long this lasts. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right. So I wanted to get some trees in there to make the biofuel chainsaw. I just wanted to see how it worked. We need some screws and we need those solid. That's going to take a while. So, space elevator. Concrete 500. We need to make the poles. 500 of those. Let's make some more. Let's go in, in here, in the space elevator. Wrong button. And press the plus. So we can show exactly what we need. Uh, we need to make a lot of wire. We're still making wire, I think. I'm sure there's a million ways we can be much more... Um... Oh, we definitely need a lot of wire. Didn't take a good long time. Where's the concrete? Let's see how the concrete's doing. Pod will return in 40 seconds. Concrete's slow burner, it looks like. 15 per minute. So if we look at how much it's going to take, 15 to 500, that's going to take a good long while. We won't be able to reach it in time. In the two hour mark. Oh, here it comes. It comes to land. But yeah, that's basically the gist of what Satisfactory is. This is kind of the very basic way. I can't, I got stuck in a bloody conveyor. This is the basic, basic way of how this game works. You find resources and you build it up until you can get to a certain level where you can just it pretty much freight fry, fry arrange. Must on exchange concluded. Okay, sweet as. Right, so basically, yeah, that's it. If, let me know if you enjoyed Satisfactory, if you do enjoy Satisfactory, if it's a game that you really do love playing. If you'd like to see more Satisfactory content, please let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for all your survival game goodness. Buy safe and avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up!